sliced bread is one of my favorite bread what about you welcome back to my channel i'm using minimal yeast i'm just going to add it to warm water i'm not using instant heat to proof then i'm going to add in my sugar and go on to add in my flour if this is the first time of you stopping by the this kitchen you're so welcome we are making this yummy sliced bread together your own homemade sliced bread as in the way bread is expensive in nigeria first of all it started from 250 then it went to 300 now 400 naira. some persons sell sliced bread for as high as 500 naira as in things are so expensive so you really need to sit tight to learn how to make your own sliced bread after i'm adding my sugar and my yeast then my flour I just went out to add in butter do I use about 50 grams of butter, but you can use less. You can use between 20 to 30 grams if you don't want your bread to be rich. This one really made my bread rich and dense and also satisfying. But if you want yours to be lighter, you can just add in between 20 grams to 30 grams of butter. That will be fine. After kneading my dough for like 5 to 10 minutes until stretching, I'm going to keep in my bowl and allow to proof for between 45 minutes to one hour if you have watched to this point do like this video click that thumbs up icon click it like it and do share this video and do not forget to subscribe and click on the notification bell for more yummy bread recipe coming your way now my dough have proofed it's a it's quite an easy bread recipe i'm just going now to just roll my dough and set in my pan this is the regular Nigerian sliced bread recipe and I'm going to be showing you how you can make your own at home with ease. If you learn how to make sliced bread at home with these few ingredients, you will not just have issues at all. In fact, there's a bread recipe I made without butter, without egg, and then it was so easy. You can make that bread recipe and you will have bread on your table. This is no different from what they do in the bakery. In fact, making your own, you're even sure of the hygiene and you're sure of what your family is making. Now you find out that the amount of money you use in buying bread can make you twice the amount of that bread you buy from the market and you will spend less so this time anything we can do to cut down costs the way things have gone off the roof in nigeria the way the prices of things have gone up i think we should put those measures in place if not we will not have savings again we will spend everything and that will be a wise decision now you can see the way i did roll it i just rolled it a bit flat not so flat then i did fold in the edges just i like folding the edges you can decide to fold you may not decide to fold then i rolled it and pinch the edges so that it will seal up properly now i'm using my normal nigerian pan i'm going to brush with vegetable oil and sprinkle with flour i'm not using my non-stick pan now i know most persons may not have the non-stick pan if it's this regular nigerian pan you are going to be using make sure you brush with vegetable oil and sprinkle a little bit of flour this is very important so that your bread will just slide out easily like the non-stick pan but if you forget to do this process you'll be in deep trouble when you finish baking your bread refused to come out now it has proved a bit i'm not going to allow it proof totally because i really want to um, i'm going to cover it with this covering if it fills up to the top the covering will will affect the bread or the dough i wouldn't want that it's a proof for that in the oven which is perfect i'm going to bake in an oven of 180 degrees for not more than 30 minutes until it is brown and i'm going to let set it to cool this is after cooling um this is our bread don't worry the little floor you are seeing is the floor from the cover as in the covering of the pan so yeah i sprinkled a little bit of floor so that's what rubbed off on the dough after it proof now you can see the way the bread is shaking because of the floor as in getting it out of the pan was no headache at all it was just easy as in easy now before you go on to slide make sure your bread cools off totally slicing your bread when it is hot it may not come out well me i didn't allow mine to cool off because of the the time which i do not have because of this recipe but allowing your bread to cool off before sliding and using your sliced um your bread knife you'll find out that how easy it is for you to slice your bread without stress and you have a yummy sliced bread on your table for your family during the next um time you want to have bread and tea or sandwich i think this bread recipe is very easy i'm going to put two ways at which you can make this bread with butter and without butter you can use either of the recipes and try it out and just slice it the way i'm doing it now and you have a yummy sliced bread on your table if you want yours dense or you want it light i'm going to put the recipes in the description box you can try it out and you'll be happy that you did because sliced bread 
we will not stress you anymore. You will stop buying bread. <laughs> I don't know if you have watched to this point. I want you to thumbs up this video if you haven't done so. Subscribe. Please don't be stingy with your subscription. Subscribe. Look at this yummy looking bread. Subscribe to Debbie's Kitchen. And see you next time. Good to have you here. Bye-bye.